Hi, I'm Russ the Guy. Welcome to my channel. Let's make a drink. Please subscribe if uh, making cool drinks is something you enjoy and just some cool stuff in general. We try to be cool. Not always successful, but I do try. So, this is a strawberry pineapple bomb. I haven't come up with a great name for it yet. I was thinking like a Hawaiian blizzard or something like that. Um, we got... Uh, <clears throat> Russo uh, strawberry liqueur. We got some Malibu strawberry rum, some Malibu pineapple, some Sonora. Um, it's a pineapple colada, I guess. Some rum chata, some strawberry milk, some pineapple juice. So let's make a drink. If you, you see it, you notice something, anything, well, I got some spouts. It's, it's after Christmas, and I got, uh, I got some stuff for Christmas to help me with being a little better. I don't know if I could uh, get a new me for Christmas. That would be better, but um, I got some spouts. I got uh, some, some other utensils that I don't have to use a knife to stir. I've got a spoon. I got some some real shot glass. Not, my other ones weren't real. They're, they were cool, but I got some cool stuff, so let's try to put it to good use here. So we're going to take about two ounces of probably everything, and uh, we're going to just shake it all up. So this is my first time pouring out of a spout thing. Look at that. Spouty thing. I don't even know what it's called. Pour? Spout? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm trying to know what I'm talking about, and I don't. So I did watch a YouTube video, it's about snapping your wrist, and so this is all new. This is the first time I've ever poured using these spouts, so just please bear with me. So far I haven't spilled anything, let's do this with my right hand. I need to just calm down. So I'm sorry, that was about two ounces, and we're going to do about two ounces of the rum chata. If I can do this and be all fancy and not spill it. So far, I'm doing all right. I don't want to curse my, I mean, I uh, curse myself. Yeah, I don't want to. Anyways, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. So we're going to take about two ounces of strawberry rum. I probably could have done this and have everything poured. I got enough shot glasses where I could pre-pour it, but that wasn't quite two ounces. I figure we got five liquors if this is brand new full bottle. I just opened it. That's why I'm using two hands because it's kind of heavy and I guess I'm kind of a wuss bag. So we're going to take about two ounces as well of strawberry milk. Actually, you know what? I may do two of these. Because this is going to probably make two and I don't know, I'm just... I want the color and there's a lot, oh, see, I don't have a spout, so I'm spilling, oh, of course, uh, so I'd like it to be a nice, there's a lot of cream white, so, anyways, I'm just rambling, sorry, this is the kind of the wild card right there, right here, I'm going to put some pineapple juice, we got to represent Two strawberries, two pineapple, and if I put two strawberry milk, I gotta put two pineapple. We try to keep it balanced. So it's two ounces, probably four ounces. But to be honest, I'm a home bartender and I really don't give a crap. So whatever I feel like, if I wanna put three, I'll put three. If I wanna put one, I'll put one. So <clears throat> I have a cool, this is strawberry pineapple and a strawberry chocolate dipped strawberry uh, for a garnish. Uh, Mrs. Guy likes these better. She doesn't like this. Well, she likes it, but she doesn't like me having the ice cream and the candy. And even though I like having candy rimmed and whatever, this is a little bit, not that this is a healthy drink at all. It's just a little bit better than what I would normally do. So I'm using my new shaker for the first time as well. Little guy got me a new shaker set. Got all kinds of tools and all kinds of cool shit. So when I talk, I forget where all my counting is, so I'm just kind of winging it. Alright. Oh, that 
screws off like that. Look at that. Almost like I know what I'm doing. So for some, oh, I spilled it, god damn it. I was gonna say, for some reason, I like to pour it over the garnish. But it makes me make a mess, because obviously, I just spilled. So maybe shaking this, I got another strain or two, maybe that's the key. This isn't seeming to, seemingly wanting to pour. I'm, I started out doing all right, but I'm, I'm finishing not so well here. Oh, it's thick. It's only milk. Well, it's creamy. Let me try it and see. See how it tastes. So, in my opinion, that is amazing. And I'll tell you what makes it amazing. The, the taste is, believe it or not, it's pretty, pretty subdued and pretty mellow. I mean, considering there's all that flavor, it, 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 yeah. it's there, but you don't taste the alcohol. There's no burn of all of that liquor. And this is probably one and a half, so there's probably like another half of one of these in the shaker. So there's a lot of booze in there. I put two ounces, or whatever that is, whatever this is, I don't even know yet, because it's brand new to me, but of all of those. So there's a lot of liquor in this, and when you take a sip, you can't taste it. Oh, there's no burn. I don't like the bite of some of the mixed drinks of cocktails, and I like to make my drinks with a lot of liquor, and it is an actually a hard thing to do to make a five liquor drink not taste the alcohol, and that's what makes it dangerous because you, you can suck this down and you suck down this whole, this shaker in 15, 20 minutes and you're, boop, you're done. So... This is a great drink. If you like pineapple, strawberry, if you're all right with cream, I, I can't, can't say enough of how good of a drink it was and how poor this video has turned out. I'm, I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm nervous. So um, if you'd like to subscribe, I think it would be great. I'm gonna make many more drinks. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Just throw me a like. Please drink responsibly and don't drink and drive. Thanks for watching.